This is a 2010 Mazda 5. I, I have the badge covered up because I covered up the license plate as well. Front lights, fog lights, mirrors, window visors, hood deflector as well. 17-inch um, alloy wheels. I have to do this quick because it's really cold outside. Um, rear sliding doors with the rails right here. Left-hand side, sorry, right-hand side fuel filler, Japanese style. LED lights. It's a Mazda 5 GT. Mazda badge. Again, I have the license plate covered up. Uh, reflectors, chrome exhaust pipe. 17-inch wheels. Okay, let's go inside. So, let me just get the key. It's a flip up style key, you push this little chrome button and it flips right up. So it has keyless entry, of course. So let's go inside. Here's the inside. Ah, it's cold today. So this is the inside of the Mazda 5. Camera's all wet. So let me take the key. Steering wheel mounted controls, cruise control on this side, uh, volume controls on this side, Bluetooth. Rain sensing wipers, that's what that was. So I was listening for Bluetooth. There's no Bluetooth currently available, but that's what that is. Phone not available. See, phone not available. It's brand new, only has 152, oh sorry, 554 kilometers. This is a gauge cluster, radio. Let's turn it on. Let's go to uh, AM, FM, that's CD, satellite radio, that's for your aux jack. Pretty good audio system. Everything is hard plastic. But it's uh, built very well. It's built in Japan, this car. Uh, damped glove box. Silver trim on the side right here. And uh, chrome door handles. You have stability control somewhere. I just don't know where the, the uh, thing is yet. Door locks right here. Power windows. I'm not going to open it because it's really raining outside. Your power mirror. You got, of course, vanity mirror. Over there too, sunroof. Again, I'm not gonna open it, but it does have a tilt feature. Um, center armrest for driver and passenger. Two cup holders. A uh, little glove box thing sort of here. Handbrake. Handbrake. Um, Five-speed automatic transmission with manual shift. So there's a manual shift, right now it's first. Then you have second and third. Oh, it's not going to third, okay. But first and second, see? And that's our giving drive. Um, reverse parking brake. Hazards. So now let's go to the back. Take the key out. We turn the hazards on. Quickly show you guys the hazards. Ah, oh, it's really wet today. Let's just quickly turn on the lights. Rear LED lights. Rear LEDs. Jesus Christ. 
locked it. Okay, so let me open this door. Sliding door. It locks into place by itself with some electronic gadgetry. I don't know how it works. Is that to wipe the camera? Sorry. Rear vents, part of the GT package. Floor mats, window visors again. In the back, plenty of room in the back. Uh, at least for kids, a lot of room. So much room actually. Got a cup holder over there. Let me actually go to the back. See if I can fit. All right. Your rails for the bottom. Cup holder. Headrest, adjustable. Seatbelt. Gray and black contrast plastic interior. Again, you've got the armrest right here. Uh, the door visors. Very nicely padded roof. Okay, and let me show you guys this feature of the rear seat, which is again another GT GT exclusive trim. You you pull this little tab here, and you have a storage under the seat. Yeah. See. For this one, you can actually get a center cup holder by pulling this up, and under there you have a bunch of stuff. I thought you have to move this back a little bit. Okay, it's not working right now, so maybe because I'm back here, eh? Let's pull. Do I? Uh, maybe I'll. Yeah, sorry, lost focus there. You pull these tabs for the seats to fold flat, like so. It's folding flat. You move the seat back. I moved it back. Just to show you guys the uh, center part. So you got another nice storage thing here. And you open it. Put this up. You open it. And you have your armrest. 